you need to adjust the floor. It's back. See how it's not hitting here. Uh -huh. It's good up there. Is it cocked? Or is it just a, it's just a little shy? I think it's just overall, but who cares? You know what I mean? It's good here. Well, that squared everything up. Well, here's well, no. That's a deceptive leash. What I mean is the only way to fix that is to yeah. shim it out up there just a little. And that means I have to pull them back. We ain't off. doing that. <laughs> I don't find that. Mix the damn mortar and throw it in the hole. Oh, okay. Yeah! What do you he dies. It dies. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our channel. It's Sherry. Good morning. Well, you know, it's been a minute, hasn't it? But I'll give you a little update of what's been going on. As you could tell by the beginning of the filming, uh, Tim and Clint, which is our handyman, started on the back deck. We're not going to replace the whole back deck because there's really nothing wrong with that. It just needs to be helped needs to be studied. So I'll show you what has been happening. So I got extremely sick with like a major, major cold. It was not COVID. It was not the big C by any means. It was just a really nasty cold. And before my cold hit, I uh, was talking to Tim about this room. This is one of the last rooms that we had touched in the house. And I was telling you, you know, it'd be really cool to have that a plant room. And I needed a place to bring the plants in for the winter because it's like October 2nd. And while I was um, down, Tim helped, I guess, um, design the plant room. And he did a wonderful job. He did awesome. Thank you, Tim. I'm really pleased with the way the front uh, came out. Oh, I wonder who's trying to come out, Kaylee or Sebastian? Let's go find out. It is the cleverest kitty kitty in the whole wide world. You know, we're just plugging along here and uh, trying to get a lot of chores done on here at the house only because, you know, uh, the weather changing and we still need to go out and get that line of trees back there. But um, I believe the next project is going to be this fence. You know, I was telling Tim that I would really like to have the carport moved, but I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen. But we'll see. But I do know we're going to do something with this fence. Um, you know, still think I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut it in half. There's like three boards. The top, the center, and then the bottom board, right? I told Tim just to cut it along that center board all the way down. Pressure wash it, paint it white, call it good. I don't know. It needs some, it really needs some love. It's it's a sad looking fence, that's for sure. And it'll be really nice to finally get this. This is a, uh, I'm really sorry about the glare, y'all. There's a lot of, uh, Dew and fog. It's early in the morning. Let me see if I can. I mean, my house shoes. Get my house shoes all wet. But we are going to dig this fence completely out. And we're not even going to have a fence there. So, uh, that'll be nice. You know, kind of open it up a little bit. 
you know, get the boat and the camper moved. The camper, I believe I told you in a previous video, we're going to put that up for sale. She's a very nice camper, y'all. A-frame. You know, because with Tim being so tall, he's six, three, six, four. He, uh, needed room. Hey, <laughs> Kaylee's being naughty, I'm sure. Um, you know, to stand up. So it's a really nice A-frame granite Kenrick tops. It's beautiful. It's even nicer than the kitchen inside the house. Let me go see what Kaylee's up to. She picked up a scent. I don't know where she's going. No video is good with that Kaylee bug. Yeah, it's one good thing about like living up here and moving up on the hall with family is every house you see, every car you see is family. And that includes Kaylee. She can go to any house she wants, and she does too. Even Sebastian makes himself at home. Well, ladies, since I've been out here filming, I guess I could go into the back and see what the guys are doing. I'm trying to stay out of their way. It's so nice coming in here and just seeing the whole house done. Well, almost. You have to stir. That's soupy. It's soupy, soupy. Yeah. Would you like Sebastian's litter box? He's got sand. Oh, but Kaylee decided to come home and not go to someone else's house. Oh, dang it. I thought we were rid of that dog. Never. Keep her in lover. Oh, Keep her in lover. Call her George. Yeah. Call her George. Keep her in lover. Yeah, happy dog, Kaylee. We should go and get a puppy. Yeah. Hang on, I want to get this one. I'm going to start going back and go fill it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 man. That's a big one. Yeah. 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 A monolithic pour. Oh no, Tim's messing that up. The chemistry. Uh, we're, we're doing what we call need to. This is a need to. Yeah, we need and y'all, this is what they call a monolithic pour. One pour. All right. We don't need rock. Yeah, you can throw a rock in there. You can throw a rock in there? I'm going to get this good gravel back here. Cleaner than the, than the other stuff. Kaylee got the zoomies. Kaylee got the zoomies. Kaylee bug, Kaylee bug. Go on. Go on, go run fast. Okay. Back here, you can't. As you can see, they replaced this board here. It was like rotting away. 
Well, I came to get my shoes and socks on because I had on my shoes, my house shoes, and I am going to go outside and help. Now, now I got on shoes. Look, y'all, we made an Arkansas wagon. We don't have a gorilla cart or anything, but this is we're going to improvise. We need a gravel, so we decided we're going to take it out of the driveway. Well, I need to call in um, Clay to come and uh, drop another little chat off anyway. Not till we get a wheel. Nice. Right. When we get a wheel barrel, that's right. That's not the easiest to move. I'm too old for this crap. We are. Well, yes. Let's see how our Arkansas wheel cart goes. Oh, well, you did a good job, Tim. All right. Well, as long as Carrie Wayne keeps him aired up, we're in there. Right there, down here. That's what neighbors are for here in Arkansas. <laughs> yes, they are. We love our neighbors. And what's even more important is our neighbors love us. Yeah. Yeah. Or they wouldn't tell us if they didn't. <laughs> well, this one is really nice and solid. It was a uh, fair. Look how much it like curved. This really it needed to be replaced. It was just not good. Look how beautiful those steps are. Oh, look, there's our favorite kitty. The cleverest kitty in the whole wide world. Oh, and there goes Kaylee. She must have heard her seen someone. You can go use that gas line, that ain't deep enough. No, that didn't go in the ground, too. It's getting warm. Right, my highly sculpted band body. Um, I'm sorry, I'm in your way. Um, I'm in everyone's way. And that's why I don't feel my dear worker because I'm always in the way. Boy, look at this. Um. Let me come down on this one. Oh my goodness, we have a mess to clean up. This is the next project, is the fence line. From that big white tree, like all the way down, it is so overgrown. You know, there's things in there. And what I mean by things, I'm talking, I think there's a building. I was telling Tim, but he didn't remember a building ever being here. But, um, there is definitely a basketball hoop. But, like, there's a bunch of wood and stuff. Maybe it's just pieces of fence. Hmm. You know, and I was thinking, you know, it'd be pretty awesome if I found a um, clothesline. Like old-fashioned clothesline pole. Two of them. But uh, this will all be cleaned up. All the way down. I moved these from um, the front of the yard. It looks like something ate them. 
Hmm. Uh, do deer eat irises? I bet they probably eat anything that they can get. Huh. Maybe they're not such cute little things after all. Trash. You know, there is a, um, I, I call it a culvert or a dry riverbed. There's a dry riverbed down there. And I'm going to try my best to get it dug out and get working on it. But my goodness, this is that round spot up here that I thought I'd turn into a hobbit hole, put a little chair back there and a lamp, and, you know, you'd be able to see it from the porch, which would be really super cool. But being realistic, I don't think that's possible. You know, always something to do. Okay, we get out of there. So, uh, like way down there, right there, there's the river. Not spring river, but a river. It feeds it. It's a natural spring. And there she goes. That's how far we got to clean it. This here is not ours. Make that clear. This is not us. This is we. We are not the problem this time. Isn't that wonderful? This belongs to a lovely and wonderful neighbor that we love so much. The cleverest little kitty kitty in the whole world came out. You know, Sebastian just started coming outside. He was always an inside kitty. Um, he was raised in a pet store. And Tim um, found Sebastian, you know, living at the pet store. And they just liked each other so much that the pet store owner told him to go ahead and take Sebastian home. So he did that. And when Tim was uh, living in Jonesboro, you know, he just lived just mere blocks from the hospital of uh, St. Bernard's Hospital in Jonesboro. And uh, Sebastian was not allowed outside because of all of the traffic. But when um, Tim moved out here to retire, um, Sebastian just started going outside. And boy, he sure has... Uh, uh, blossomed as a cat. It's always good to have inside cats. I mean, really. Uh, but Sebastian needed to be an outside kitty. He's really come out of her shell. Oh, God. I wish I could. I wish my camera had a stick. <coughs> I would stick it all the way up in there so you guys could see how deep it goes. It goes deep, 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 deep. See this wall of branches here? There's still like six more feet behind there. Oh, he's going to go in there and play. I say there's probably ticks and uh, things. I was going to say like things. You know what, y'all? I'm sitting here looking. Look at these thorns. Is this a wild rose bush? Oh my goodness, I didn't even know this was here. We have roses. Yay. Just passing by, Tim. Not going to stay. Just seeing how you're doing here. It's still soupy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Well, you're doing a wonderful job. Yeah. Well, everyone, we're going to just wrap this film up. I'm going to go help the boys. But not film. When I film, I'm in the, in the way. I'm going to try not to get in the way. 
Have a wonderful day, everyone. And thank you for watching us and joining us here on Spring River Holler.